Hello everyone, Elite Cameraman here. After more than a week of waiting, Mr. Boom finally broke his silence and actually posted a new leak to the merch store, and it really does look like stuff will be changing soon. This also might mean that we might be getting episode 71 tomorrow. We already know that Boom said that episodes would be coming out much faster, and it's likely that he will start doing this right after episode 71, since it's been like 9 or 10 days ever since episode 70 part 3 already. I'm glad that there was some time in between this time because episode 70 part 3 was a crazy event. Hopefully we get to see the next episode tomorrow or two days at max. But before I get into this new crazy leak, make sure to like this video and subscribe. We hit 1.4 million subscribers a couple days ago, and I think we can try and reach for 1.5 million subs next. So, for the sake of TV woman, press that subscribe button. Anyways, here we go. Literally an hour ago before I started writing this video, a new leak randomly appeared in the merch store and it was labeled as Skibidi Toilet 71. This instantly confirms that episode 71 will be a one-parter. But there is actually one question we should be asking because if we look at Boom's channel, you will see that he has been posting some long episodes lately with all the stuff that's been going on, and we literally have been switching over the same POVs for months now, and after a long while, this probably will be the first time we'll have a time skip, and we have no idea how long this episode will be. Since Boom said that he'd be uploading a lot more, I can't really be sure if this video is going to be about one minute like the old days or something a little longer, but it surely will be the answer to all our questions once it comes out, but since that's all out of the way, it's time to move on to the leak. This new leak shows us a cameraman literally in the middle of a desert, and we can see a couple interesting things with the first one being the weird number pad on the back stuck to what I'm assuming is a mountain, but we'll talk about this numpad and what it could mean after we talk about the cameraman in the middle. It's clear that the cameraman have started go crazy on upgrades, and this is a whole new setup with that new gun. First, we have the new classic protective lenses and the headphones with the jetpacks on the back. This cameraman Aslo looks like he has two toilet grenades that we saw being used in episode 70 part 1, but the main thing that everybody sees is this Blood's huge gun. Don't worry about me though, TV woman already knows that my gun is bigger but that's besides the point. This weapon looks very similar to the laser gun that the large cameraman had in episode 70 part 1, but to me it does look like a mini version for normal cameraman, but it's not because if you look carefully and zoom in, he actually is not holding this gun, and it physically is impossible to hold this weapon like this, but instead this weapon looks like it's an extension of his arm. Maybe this is one of the cameraman who lost his arm in the battle and it was replaced with a whole laser gun. I may be totally yapping, but it does seem like this is the case. If you think about it, why wouldn't they do this if they can upgrade all the fallen cameraman as much as they can? This weapon still is most likely less powerful than the large cameraman laser, but if they are normally not able to carry a weapon like this, it means that this was a huge upgrade for a normal cameraman. There isn't much more about the cameraman on this frame, but there is indeed something more important that I'm sure that boom put intentionally. First of all, we are in the middle of the desert, and this place doesn't look like any place we've seen before and it looks completely new, but there is a number pad behind this cameraman. My guess is that this either is another secret Skibidi base or more likely one of the secret bases of the Alliance. I think after seeing the secret ending of episode 70, we might get to see more of the internals of the Alliance with TV Man's base also being introduced in episode 66 a while ago. As the viewers, a crazy amount of stuff has been revealed to us about the general direction of the series, but the actual characters still have so many missing pieces, and this means that there will be new mysteries will be opened for us, as the actual characters also collect information. If you have any opinions about this leak, make sure to comment it down below. Also, many people have been asking for multiverse units in my Roblox game, and it's finally happening this Sunday. So make sure to check out the upcoming update to my Roblox game this Sunday. 